Our Transform program is based on a memorandum of understanding with the Ministry of Education, which covers much of our work in the field of teacher education, but also quality assurance issues. So under the Teacher Educator program in school leadership, ITESL, Improving Teacher Education in Sri Lanka, uh, we collaborate on a, on a very shared basis. Um, in practical terms, we provide international good practice, international consultants to ensure that the input is comparable to the level of uh, professional development that is provided globally. For a long time, we, uh, as the Ministry of Education, we felt that some sort of support is needed for the teachers. So we uh, requested from various uh, national and uh, multinational organizations outside uh, the Ministry of Education the support uh, to improve our education system and support the teachers. So then British Council has been working with us for a long time. So we thought British Council is a sound organization for us to support. When we think of the English, for ERT teachers. So they were just teaching without a very serious understanding of how to incorporate the syllabus and the textbook into the actual practice. When we are participating in monitoring, we have noticed that there is a very good, remarkable change that teachers are working with the lesson plans and they are actually incorporating the outside resources and that the classrooms have become very lively. It was really interesting for everybody because most of these new methodologies and uh, they were engaging in all the activities very enthusiastically I saw. I witnessed that. It was really good uh, to change the whole system, actually the plan. Uh, the objective of this program is to change the whole program, uh, teaching program of second language in the school system. There are three strands uh, to improving teacher education in Sri Lanka, otherwise known as ITESL. Um, these three strands combine together with the aim of improving classroom practice overall. The first strand is uh, pre-service teacher educator training. The second strand is in-service teacher educator training. And the third strand is principal leadership training. To ensure project sustainability, um, master trainers have been trained in all three areas um, to support the professional development of teacher educators and teachers. When I was schooling, usually English teachers, uh, like they read the book, only the sentences, and they just translate it. They didn't use any visuals, they didn't use any stopping signals, and even they didn't want to know that whether the students have really understood the lesson. The master trainers developed not only training skills but also planning and monitoring and evaluation, um, keeping up to date with the day-to-day -day administration and writing reports. And these are invaluable skills that they learned that is not directly related to classroom practice. So now, a year and a half later, we have hundreds of people who've come through the courses um, that we are now trying to build communities with. Over the last year and a half, we have all learnt a lot and the last course we did for teacher educators, I would say, was the most successful because it truly fitted the purpose for which it was designed. As a ELT lecturer, I have not equipped myself in uh, all these modern techniques. So I felt, uh, for me personally, I have to develop if I am going to stay in this uh, profession. And I, after becoming accustomed to these techniques, as well as this technology and all these new methods, I think, uh, personally, I have gained a lot. So I think it's very good for move I have made to get involved in this uh, ITSL program. When we were informed that there was a program like this, uh, I really didn't want to come because it was the vacation and I had so many programs for me. Uh, but uh, when we attend uh, the first day, uh, I felt that uh, there's something for me to learn. Then gradually the interest towards the course increased a lot and uh, we, I gained a lot of knowledge throughout the program. At the beginning, few people participated. As a result, others also expressed their willingness to participate in ITSL program, so other than one or two who were suffering from different ailments, uh, all the others uh, participated in this program and uh, they liked it.
very much. After I did some training, I can hear when I walk uh, along the aisles of the classrooms. The students are more noisy and uh, they engage in more activities, more than the earlier occasions. with the other teachers and I told them the importance of our ETSL course and uh, it was really beneficial uh, not only for the, uh, the lecturers of English, uh, it is very much beneficial for the other lecturers as well. Earlier only the teacher is the active person in the classroom but now we are making students to be active in the classroom so we are giving lots of activities, games, we are giving several methods to make them active, make them curious to learn English. It was very challenging but rewarding working with these people. I think the biggest challenge was probably the language issues, um, particularly with, with the native Tamil speakers. Um, I think in many cases it, it wasn't that they weren't um, fluent, I think it was confidence. Mostly they deliver their subject in, in Tamil medium and at first they were very, very nervous about you know, studying in English and doing micro-training in English. But, you know, within the second week, we, we said to them, you know, you can do your micro-training in Tamil medium. We have enough people here who speak Tamil and English to be able to tell me what's going on. But, you know, they elected to, to do the micro-training in English. They just, I think they just needed that experience. They said all the group work was helping to actually improve their, their English skills as well. English is a must. And they are presently doing English in their schools. And actually that, that is their objective, probably to handle their subjects and the future needs in English. Now ICT, the English is very important because most of the materials are in English. So if the student know the English, they can easily access those material from the websites or other things. Uh, through the social media also they can share the ideas and uh, if they want any researches, they can find out from the websites. So they must know the English language. At the same time, e-learning, online learning and mobile learning, all these things uh, make happen by means of this English, uh, if they have good standard of English. At school, when they start learning English, we have to implement uh, the communicative skills also. Then only when they come out of the schools, they will be confident to face the challenges in the world. I am in the, this field, in this college for about 8, 17 years. I am uh, very bored of my work. When I participated, I realized, yes, so we can do something differently that will be more efficient for students as well as for us. Always if they are in a small group, it's boring again for them with the same colleagues. When we mingle the groups again and again, uh, it is interesting for them to be with the new colleagues and work. They are using that instruction, taking questions, and you know that the children are also answering in a pertinent ways. I felt very happy that now they are able to converse or use that particular skill they have acquired in the college through the tech program. And I'm very happy to say that now I observed my trainer as well. And when I observed my trainer, I got uh, some skills uh, incorporated into my lesson plan. And I, I did the job to manage with my skills and to do something new to the prospective teachers as well. After completing our four block teachings, we have got much uh, confident and much methodologies to teach English. I think it will lead our students to get more practice in English as well as make their uh, knowledge in English. This should uplift their communicative level as well as their academic qualification. Daru ekta whiteboard ekuganna da khandaam kriya karakamadi meva gyatin hadagan puluang apita 
විශිල් බෝඩ් එකක් අරගෙන ඊට කවලයක් දාලා හදා ගන්න පුළුවන් මේකේ මාක පෙන් එකෙන් දරුවන්ට ලියන්න. ඒ කියන්නේ මේක මකන්න පුළුවන්. නැවත නැවත භාවිත කරන්න පුළුවන්. අපිට ඕන දේ දරුවන්ට මේකේ ලියන්න පුළුවන්. I talked to the teacher educators lecturers and and some other uh, stakeholders and especially teacher student they are very happy with the course content and especially the delivery system we have asked principals from all other schools to come here and we are going to discuss uh, their challenges and uh, what they have done and what our future future interventions are so far we are really happy about the outcomes and how how the principal have taken this knowledge and how they have transferred that into their school and leading instructional doing changing instructional leadership and methodologies in the classroom so we we think this a very important part uh, in transforming our school culture and learning and teaching process in school when we were doing the training program the very first thing i must say here is the participation was 100% the principals actively participated in the program and by the end of the 3 uh, days they realized that how their role should be changed hello how are you hi say hello i'm not just asking students to read because there are five or six students they can understand but the others though i force them to read they will never read when making a lesson plan I thought how to achieve my learning outcomes while being in their own level without going too advanced today as this is a uh, grammar lesson students are very very afraid of grammar lessons uh, so that's why I thought to do the whole the lesson in as groups in group wise activities when we organize such programs and we would we would need lot of you know uh, funds as well as a lot of cooperation from the principals because we have to take teachers out of the schools so like there would maybe uh, there would be some resistance from the principals but if we convince them because ultimately the students will be benefited at the same time we need some funds as well and also when we have to take the resource persons out of their working places there are also a bit of you know uh, issues but i think if we give the or the administrators uh, this management uh, level the importance of this program and i think we would be able to you know, overcome these issues our teachers and principals they are really interested in participating uh, in programs conducted by the british council and especially this itsa program improving teacher education in sri lanka uh, they have focused on this uh, improving methodology of uh, teachers and also capacity development programs for the principals so that's a very good sign because that is what we really needed in this period we get a vast number of teachers from uh, different categories Uh, even though they are english teachers some are experienced and some are not but even though they have their elt qualifications uh, we train them with the methodology that they need to do the lessons in a effective manner in the schools we had to do lot of micro teaching at the beginning we didn't like it but we could understand that's a real transform in our own lives as trainers and uh, especially now i feel that i am confident more confident uh, even before another set of trainers so i became a trainer of trainers students in our days they are very much attracted to the modern devices like the smartphone so if we can use these devices that they have in their uh, position to a, in a meaningful manner which will help them to develop their Uh, learning capacities uh, it will be really fun to the children i always group my students and i engage with the students uh, more than a teacher now i i'm like a guider who guides the students and uh, it seems to be very uh, useful and effective before the itsl program and after the itsl program i can compare with the with the teachers there are lots of development and advancement in the teachers uh, methodology teaching methodology and how they utilize their methods during the classroom teaching learning activities the teachers are 
going for classes in the schools according to the timetable. Even we can't spend much time during the school time. Even we will find at least 10 minutes by talking with them, making them to be aware of the mistakes, not the mistakes, the, the development point that they have to look for in their next activities. And the strengths we, we are doing appreciation also. While observing that we can see the changes in the students, the, how they respond. As far as the teachers are concerned, they feel it's very easy and simple nowadays, you know, handling uh, even the difficult tasks that's given to them. It's been an incredible journey from start to, well, where we are right now. And we've done this enormous training and it took enormous effort from all sorts of stakeholders, from the MOE, from our participants, from our master trainers, from British Council, from us trainers. It was just a massive effort that went into this last year of ITESL. Every single course we start initially, we just get the reaction, you know, participants coming in really unhappy to be there, especially when it's residential. And uh, you just see this gradual sort of like change in attitude as you win them over and towards the end everybody's asking for more training. So I think that definitely does, you know, really fill you with energy to carry on and the motivation to go on. So in the next stages of the project we are looking at sort of monitoring and evaluation. We're going out to schools, to colleges, we are observing our participants, we're giving them feedback, we're trying to support them and show them how they can how the methodology can translate into their own context, into their own classrooms. Uh, and just try to embed it a little bit more. But um, it's not enough. We need, we definitely need more systematic uh, support. This is a turning point of the Sri Lankan education, this education system. Actually, this project is a very collaborative project. We are working with the British Council and Ministry people, many uh, institutes, schools and National College of Education, and Zonal Education Office and Provincial Education Office, all together we are. This is a good effort for the developed our education. Lamaini Sadhava, Apikira Deva Lahagari in Dori Kiela. Namutega Sampurne, Varadi Kramea. Nivaradi Kramea, Lamai Kriaka Riva, Ape Vadeta, Sahayogi Labadini. Esana Guru Kun Karanda Vashi, Ekapi Guadiavanacha Seve Kati, Guru Diavu, Richard Slapun Kirim, Mega Karnoa. Eta Matrava, Vidual Paturu, May Punuela and Kati, Provision and Ganda Pun Karnoa. Mega Nisipar the Siduina, the Kalabaranda Pi. Group of the group, Punu Karna. Me Kanda Yantra Punu Ela Me Karta Me Hari Akaro Diyat Karot Api Hidarwa Me Genu Genu Kriya Oli Vada Sarta Vela Lanka Diyamani Ta Vegi Nisarani Yudma Piyarwa.